So we're going to install a new set of sway bar disconnects on your 2018 and above Jeep Wrangler JL. Now I would imagine this is exactly the same for your JTs as well. Now we looked at several kits and for the price, Metal Cloak makes a really good product. These are around at $99 price point. They're all made here in the U.S. So you don't have to worry about you're not buying you know, foreign junk. So we're going to install this kit on our Wrangler. We have a big trip coming to Drummond Island next week. All right, let's get them on. All right, so I've taken off the wheels. and You don't have to take the wheels off for this install. I only did it for filming. I've taken off the factory disconnects as well. And uh, show you how to install. And as you can see, both sides are not the same. So there is a difference in the driver and the passenger side. All right, so before you start this, make sure you go out on Metal Cloak's website and download all the instructions. Other stuff is online. Okay, first things first, always use just a little bit of NICs. So you get a lower pin. Right. Washer goes on, goes back in. All right, so let's take the disconnect, we'll put a little anti-seize on it, and a jam nut. And since the jam nut went on, a little bit more for the in-link. And once this is all together and we got the other side on, we'll get these all adjusted now they need to be adjusted with the tires on they're even all right need to put this through now this is a 15 millimeter now there's flats on the inside of here for a wrench so it's 14 millimeter wrench These things are made for all kinds of lifts, so we always could cut these down if we wanted to. All right, so there's that. And then there's just a pin that we just go through here to keep them tied in. Right? And when you want to disconnect, you just pull the pin. And there's a bracket that'll go up here to attach so that it doesn't swing out of the way or you can just clamp around it either way. Let's do the passenger side. The passenger side is a little different. We have your track bar bracket comes in. You'll get this flag nut. This would give you this bracket that actually will bolt in. This in here will go up against your axle housing. And then your pin will bolt into this one. Okay, just like before, some anti-seize on there. Which I do this my that my big mitts in a way. So this will already has a built-in spacer on it. It'll just go in. Bolt will go through. And then the flag nut. We'll just go on. That's why you have two different links here for the disconnect. Now this bolt here is an 18 millimeter. Make sure 
sure it's tight. I'm gonna wait to tighten this up. I gotta adjust both sides. So we just seen the driver's side going on. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten, we're gonna put the in link through and they give you a, a jam nut as well. Good tight. Get it swung on there. So they're made for all kinds of different lift kits. So I might end up cutting this this rod because I think I think that's a little high for this, but I mean I don't like that that sway bar angle. But for now, I mean you could always cut this and rethread it, but it might make it harder to come off the pin since your rod is shorter. Alright, so we're going to put this side on and then we'll adjust the other side. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this where there's room for me and the cameras. So you can see that there's quite a bit of gap I have to make up for here. And I might have to adjust the other side just a little bit if I need to come up more. Yeah, see I'm still off. I'm going to call it about three quarters of an inch. So the other side's got to come up more. So we might end up pushing this side on, disconnect the other side, and get this side, and take all the adjustments over there. All right, so I disconnected the other side. So I'm going to put this one on, and we'll adjust the other side. All right, so the other side's on. We'll back this one out. It just slides on. Mm, just like that. And snug it up. I can probably get it, put it right into the existing body hole right here. And it fits on the other side as well. And then the only issue would be is if I hit it when it art articulate. Before we tighten it, let's put this on. So that way we would use the existing body hole. I think that'll work out well. And that way we only got to drill one hole. Still somewhat worried about the articulation when it comes up. Because I, right now, when I hit the stops, I'm just rubbing fender. Now this is a sport with Rubicon fenders on it. And in the past, when this thing stuffed all the way in, I just hit the inner liner. All right, so the instructions are goes in this area, drill a 930 seconds hole. So we're going to use a transfer punch to transfer the hole location. All right, just so I don't miss it, I'm going to give it a better center punch. All right, so we're going to use our rock mount drill. Now it's not a project unless you get every tool in the box out. So seconds, okay, 30 seconds. Now these, since these are uh, center cutting split points, no need to pre-drill the hole. Pin through. All right, so last 
lastly we'll just get this disconnect on and do the same on the other side now if they're adjusted right they go on real easy and level ground they'll fight you a little bit on all right, so that was just installing a set of sway bar disconnects from Metal Cloak. If you have any questions about this, let me know. If you need to get some information on where to wheel, I'll put a few links in here. I'll see you there. So whether it's on the, in the garage, on the trail, or a show somewhere, I'll see you there. This is Jeep and Mo.